Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another video of tutorial for the Vinci Resolve. Today, I'm gonna talk about transition. Okay, there's three types of transition. Fade in, fade out, and cross transition. It's that simple. So, I'm gonna start off by putting a video. Okay. And uh, let's go to edit. For this video, let's dump it right here. Let's just get rid of the, of the sound for now. Okay. By the way, I have to unlink because uh, if you don't unlink it, both of the ball will drag the chips. So right now, the ball is loose. If I didn't unlink it, for example, Link clip, both bar will move at the same time, so I unlinked it. That way, I can move one bar as so I delete the sound for now. Okay, today we're gonna talk about transition. So three types of transition. One is uh, fade in, and then fade out, and then in between. So let's just do a cut right here. Alright, now we have a cut. Uh, let's make... Let's make this uh, a different segment, so that way And then you put this on top Normally this is how you cross uh, transition And uh, fade in fade out You could, what you could do, you could add a um, Color, all you have to do is go generator And have solid color Okay and You add a color right here if you want And go back to title Okay, let me expand this right here. Alright, uh, let's duplicate this. Holding out and then drag it out and then bring it over there. So at the end right here, uh, this will consider the fade out. Right. Well, you don't really need color here, you know, but but anyhow, so fade in. Uh, how is See this part right here? This little ball right here. You can um, move this, or you can go video transition, cross yourself, and you could put it like right here. Yeah, let's see what that do. Yeah, see, now you have a fade on to it, or you can just delete that really quick, or you can just do like this, and from here go like this. You also have a transition in here, rather than have a cross yourself. Same thing right here, you just grab one of these. And dump it right here. Okay, see, this is kind of long. Or, let's delete this. Or you can go. Put this coin right here, and just fade it up right here. And so you get the idea. Let's see. And then over the end, you do the same thing. I have to do the drag it and the point where you want it to fade out. There you go, fade out. If you like, you can still drag one of these and just dump it right here. Okay. This will also fade out. Either way, say let's just say you want something special, more special than. Uh, 
done. Simple fade in, fade out right here. You want something more special, like a swipe or a quad diamond iris. Uh, let's see. Let's say. Let's move this back a little bit. Uh, so you want to use something like push, motion push, so you just drag it, and put it right there, and then you see, it will just push. So make sure this part is about right here, so that way you have a perfect push. Uh, these are the effects you could use, you know, other than that, uh, simple fade in, fade out. You want to be right here. This is pretty much fading out and this is much fading in. So this gonna come um, this this video gonna show it up as you move to right here. This video gonna show it, that's what it means. It's, it's slowly coming to uh, this is hundred percent you know video it's on so but when you have something like this This video go down and this video go up. So you you get what I'm saying. Okay, this very simple, very straightforward. Okay, so in Blender, same thing. Let's just add a movie. Alright, one Same video. All right, so let's get rid of the sound for that. Sound. Okay, so for this video, let's say I cut right here. Let's do a cut. Now nah, let's, let's do a cross. Alright, so we're gonna do a fade in and fade out and a cross. So for here, all you have to do is select this, hold shift, select this, go down here, and add grammar cross. Now you have a, a transition. Okay, that's just the cross. Now fade in, fade out is, is pretty much simple. You just add color. Uh, let's expand this color. Put it right here, and then uh, you can also duplicate this and put it right here. All you have to do is click this, hold this, and go across. All right, it's that simple. And this one, same thing. Click on this, click on to this, and grab across. Now. Fade out. Or you can animate it. And this is how you animate it. You click onto this video. Say you want to start right here. You go down to uh, opacity. Insert keyframe here by pressing I, and then you come down to the end. Uh, that's the thing about uh, Blender. Is you could press page up, page down. You could just straightly get to the end. You know, I don't know how they do that for uh, DaVinci yet, but I'm sure there's a function for that, but for now, uh, you can, you know, anyway, you go down here, and then you bring this down, and then you put, I. Uh, okay, now you insert keyframe here, so what that do, start from here, as you go here, it fade out, so that's another way you can do it, and well, yeah, you could do the same thing here. You know, instead of uh, grabbing it, this is much easier, but if you want to do an animation on it, you could do the same thing. Just go over here. For snapping, 
that way you could get the end so you snap right here okay for snapping all right so you go down click on this video you see here all you have to do is a keyframe right here and then you drag this to the end okay and then you go like maybe right here right and then uh, you insert keyframe here and you drag this to 100% so what that would do as you can see it's a custom uh, fade in fade out like I said you could use this you could use custom fade out by insert keyframe keyframe is pretty much uh, you, you're doing animation okay all you have to do is click on the video and you keyframe it or you can use the effect all right um, there's many type of effect here so that's what blender doesn't have it's a library of effect okay this is just literally simple fade in fade out or you have to use uh, you have to do a customize like using um, special animation technique so this is all from scratch whenever you use blender everything you do will be all from scratch but for uh, DaVinci Resolve some of the animation is available to you on uh, the library and if you get the full version which costs like 299 I have the free version which can do many many things already so but if you can get the paid version which is $200.99 uh, $299 uh, you probably get more option I don't know but whenever it comes to transition I just need this too it's enough for me to do a, a, a very mature transition stuff like edge wipe you know like such as edge wipe for instance like edge wipe like these these type of transition it's not really um what you call it um romantic or anything i don't know how to explain it it's just too uh, tacky not many times I would use this when I want to do like what wedding video and I want to do some um, very uh, emotional transition these this transition here is not that emotional at least not to me okay and this this one you see this this is just like funny transition you know like these type of stuff I don't really want to use I prefer a simple simple uh, just blending together transition so i hope this helped you guys out and um all right that's it i'll see you guys on the next video peace